Child, this adulting is too much. Like, I gotta do this to make it to 60? Hey gems, it's your girl Miss Jamima, and we are back at it again with another vlog. I have been really into lip oils lately. My favorite are the House Labs, like unmatched. Love them. But I'm also trying out the, the oh, hold on, my little grubby fingers on it. <laughs> Left like fingerprints. Um, girl, let me rub it the wrong side, please. The Dior lip oil situation like she's cute too the skin is very much moisturized today um i have been enjoying my dr dennis roth wow how is the name escaping me right now that's crazy but i've basically been using his whole line um as of late they sent his products to me in pr i'm pretty sure i mentioned that um a couple of vlogs ago but yeah, I've been enjoying it. Um, I feel like my skin is very glowy at the end of my um, skincare session. And I want to credit it mostly to, I want to say it's the vitamin C serum that I use. Um, yeah, so that with my Super Goop um, SPF on top, it's just, it's giving all the vibes right now. But anyways, child, I... I need to get my room together. I need to get my apartment together. I need to get my life together. Um, it has kind of been falling apart little by little. Not falling apart, more like deconstructed. I've been working on my, my filming room, which is now an extension of my, I mean, it's always been an extension of my closet to a degree. Now it's like legitimately an extension to my closet because that is what I, the room, I, it's not working. How I have things set up is not working. So I need change and I don't know what that's going to mean for my content um, because the backdrop has now changed. So I'm gonna show you guys a little later. I'm still getting some work done. I had to order some more hangers. So that's really what the holdup is right now and why I can't really complete what I want to complete today. Um, Cause I think the hangers don't come in till tomorrow. So, yeah, I wanted to get as many things done between today and tomorrow as possible. Um, yeah, tomorrow. Man, I wonder if there's, if there's any... Let me do another search and see if I can find anything that same day. It's pretty late, though. Black velvet hangers. What, what was life before Amazon? Like... Before Amazon really became like Amazon that girl, what was life? Where were we shopping for things? Like I, I would have to physically leave the house for everything that I need? Or like have to piecemeal things that I need from every little store? I can't just do one big order of random things from different stores into like one? That's actually insane to me. Okay, so I can get some delivered today. Why didn't I go that route? Oh, it wasn't the cheapest route. <laughs> that explains it. Um, also, not every velvet hanger is equal. And so that's also a concern of mine. I'm purchasing hangers and they hang differently, but it, it might just be something I have to deal with because I would like to get as much of this done today as possible um, so that I can do more work tomorrow. I had a lot of work planned for today, but until that room is done or semi done, I can't film, you know? I know you guys have been asking for the hauls. I've been seeing the messages. I've been getting the DMs. I've been getting it all, okay? Um, I know you guys are missing the hauls. I do have quite a few lined up. I'm talking about, if y'all could see, I just picked up packages today. If y'all could see the amount of packages on this cart. Oh, man, I'm telling y'all. So a lot of hauls coming soon, no worries. 
and um yeah i'm excited to jump back into it it's been quite some time i haven't done a full haul no i think i did a haul in december but like for real for real it's been two months that's actually wild like wow so hopefully i can get all this resolved and we're gonna do it together i started and i got most of it out the way because i was not about to have y'all in the trenches with me okay i said once i can slowly come back to resurface for air then i'll bring the gems along but like in the trenches deep 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 underwater in the middle of the black sea where you can't even see where you like have y'all there with me no <laughs> no okay i'm not about to set myself up like that you know, sometimes being the cheapest hurts me more than just paying a few extra dollars and getting what I need when I need it. Like, cause yeah, I saved like $3, but at what expense? Not having what I needed when I needed it. Anyways, child, let me go clean my room because it's looking kind of crazy. Um, and I'm taking y'all with me, so let's get into it. <laughs> so first things first, making a bed. This is what the bed is looking like. I decided not to go with, oop, wait a minute. I decided not to go with all the extra throw pillows. This time around, just keeping it simple and I love it. I'm going to sleep so good tonight. <laughs> Special shout out to Brooklinen for sponsoring this portion of the video. You guys know I've been buying Brooklinen even before I started working with them and I have no regrets. <laughs> Brooklinen is an online bedding company that brings quality and comfort at an affordable price. A lot of luxury brands, a lot of luxury bedding can cost up to $500 and they only charge a fraction of the cost because they cut out the middleman, baby. It's just you, straight to Brooklinen, no in between. They have the most five-star reviews out of all of the other online bedding companies, so you know it's good. So I decided to go with the Lux Sateen set. It's very cool to the touch and it has like a very slight luminous look to it that just screams quality, baby. It screams luxury, darling. So you can shop for this exact set yourself. They have over 20 options of colors and patterns that you can pick from to match your style or your decor. You can buy each piece individually or you can save 25% by shopping a hardcore bundle set which includes a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. 
So try it out for yourself, see how you like it, and be sure to use code Miss Jamima to get $20 off of any order over $100. Like, I know I'm gonna sleep good tonight, like for real. In this color, I really like this color. I decided to go white and gray this time. Usually you guys know I like to do all white, but the gray, she's gorgeous, she's gorgeous. And um, it's taking everything in me not to hop in a bed right now. <laughs> Truly, ugh, truly. Makes me so sad actually. I don't wanna talk about it. So this is what the filming room is looking like right now. Hold on, let me see if I can make y'all stand. Okay, so before, um, oh, I think the lens is not expanded. Ooh, yeah. So before, <laughs> it was just this rack here with that plant, and I had like odds and ends and stuff in that corner. Um, I got two more racks <laughs> because I need space. Um, and this is where I used to stand for my hauls to record. Camera's here, look at me. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Ooh, don't know my intros anymore, but you know. And now because this is here, I don't know how I'm going to film anymore, um, but I just, I needed this space. I needed this space. Like, it's just not working out. Right now, it's giving very much boutique store. It's giving very much, um, hey guys, um, welcome to my clothing store. Um, let me know if you need any help. Um, yeah. So the goal is to be able to interchange these out seasonally. So right now I have like shackets and stuff sweaters things that i wouldn't normally gravitate towards like in the warmer months so at least now i have a place for them <laughs> um i had to take my skirts out of the other closet and put them here because that that side of the closet was just overwhelmed with pants and skirts together which is crazy because we the skirts took, take up this whole rack like i need to go through these because how many of these am i actually wearing and i have shorts in here and i don't know why my life is just in shambles right now. Yeah, I do have shorts here. What is going on? Uh, okay, well, as you can see, things are not all the way organized. <laughs> I'm still figuring out my life. I need to reorganize this closet here. I usually keep my coats and jackets and stuff in here. Um, I am going to migrate my sneakers into this closet as well because I'm running out of space. And the other This is getting ridiculous, okay? Um, but this is this is my life <laughs> but yeah so i'm not exactly sure what the content is going to look like going forward but we got to make it work baby we just got to make it work um yeah i'll just record today but i i really don't want to and then like how i don't even know what i'm doing I'm like, well, I've kind of gotten a little used to not filming hauls, and uh, yeah, I feel a little weird trying to get back into it. But let me pull up my calendar. Um, so I definitely had some things to. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get to work. <laughs> mm. All right. Okay, so I'm going to chug an energy drink. Um, do you need some juice? Because I am going to film. <laughs> um, my avoiding it is not going to help solve the issue of figuring out the layout. So we might as well just throw ourselves into it and see what happens. Um, um, Alani New, I need you guys to sponsor me, please. And not just for content, but in life. Because I just, the way your products are just so delicious and tasty. <laughs> and just how I just can't get enough. Like, delish. <laughs> Anyways, child. Let me, why well, I, I want to switch out my earrings first, actually. Switch out my earrings. Moisturize my hair. Get the waves to pop, because right now I don't know what's happening. Oh, yeah, I cut my hair and dyed it. <laughs> I 
actually no i'm not gonna hold y'all it's been a couple days that i didn't pick up the camera <laughs> and i i i've been living um i think i did vlog one dinner um it's valentine's day weekend rihanna weekend um I mean, I guess the guys call it Super Bowl weekend, whatever. It's Rihanna weekend. And, um, <laughs> yeah, so I've been enjoying friends and enjoying the love holiday with them, you know? So, yeah, I'll, I'll enter the footage of that dinner here. Flashback. Hey gems, it's your girl Miss Jamima and we are back at it again with another mother freaking vlog. <laughs> I am currently at Atlantic Station. This is the first time I've been here since the end of the holiday season. And I'm just like, oh, where are the decorations? Where are the ornaments? Where are the trees? Where are the lights? It's, oh, child, it's the, um, the music's still playing for me. I'm just like, bro, I mean, she's cute or whatever, but I, oh, I miss Christmas. And it's like in the 60s right now, and it's currently 9, 10. So I'm just very confused as to why is it so warm right now? I'm not ready for winter to be over. I'm not ready to put my coats away. I'm not ready to put my sweaters away. Like, I feel like I didn't even really enjoy for real, you know? It was cold in Atlanta for like three and a half weeks, and that was it. And I, I don't like that. I really don't. Anyways, I'm getting ready to head. Well, I'm not getting ready. I'm already ready. I'm heading to Zena, Zen Zen. And I need to figure out where the heck I need to park because this garage is a little bit confusing for me, darling. If I'm being completely honest. But a lot of things in Atlanta are confusing to me. <laughs> Let's keep that a book. Um, I'm going to. Ooh, I forgot what it's called. It champagne and roses something Ooh, i don't remember exactly what it's called but um basically i'm going to a late dinner and i'm super excited about it and um i'm starving so i can't wait to eat i said that in every video and i feel like y'all be thinking i'm joking i real life be starving like for real so let me figure out where to park and then i'm gonna check back in with y'all because i need to find a station there's no numbers it's not labeled like how did they expect you to find your way around, child? They just want you to guess. <gasps> Boom! And I found it, yeah. Oh, period. Mm. Now I'm gonna park right here. <gasps> right here, actually, let me. <gasps> am I gonna front and parking? Who am I? Let's some on the corner. It's gonna be easier for me to get out. And one thing about it, baby, I park so I can get out quickly. You never know, we need to escape. <laughs> I need to run for my life. Just slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You big cry, baby. You. All right. Anyways, child, I am starving. I briefly looked at the menu. Honestly, I feel like the food's not going to slap. It might mean more vibes than anything, but I'm going to find something I can eat, child. I'm going to find some. I'm going to eat good. <laughs> I hope. But yeah, so I made a little announcement on. um on Instagram today that I am officially unofficially rebranding my content as food and fashion because that's that's all you'll ever get from me um because some people really be like trying to come for me because they be like oh my god like do you do anything else no <laughs> I get dressed talk about clothes talk about food and eat that's literally my life whether I'm doing it here in another country that is the content that you have been receiving and should continue to expect from me, okay? Please do not expect anything more, child. You will disappoint yourself. <laughs> what a chaotic way to start this vlog, huh? But yeah, I'm about to, is that an elevator? Okay, child. I'm about to go hiking in these heels. A ziggy, ziggy, zig, ziggy, ziggy, zig, ziggy, deek, deek. Oh, what a day. I have been spending the past couple of days just working. So I haven't been vlogging, haven't been talking y'all. Barely getting dressed, child. If it's not like bare essentials, I'm not doing it. Cause I've been trying to, you know, get content ready so I can get back to my regular schedule, regular scheduled programming. And I am tired. What random 
email is that anyways all right y'all let me head inside i'm gonna shut y'all off so y'all don't hear the labored breathing as i go up the steps and um, i'll see y'all later <laughs> Joel, do I feel it? A ziggy ziggy zig 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 ziggy compa.
Chile. Okay. So Zeta is Zen. Um, overall, overall, I enjoyed it, but the service was struggling. Um, there are only two servers as far as I could see. And, um, apparently they, they said two big parties came in after we did. So it took a little bit of time for us to get certain food items. Um, yeah, we were there for pretty much two hours. And normally if we just go in, eat, kiki and leave, it's an hour, hour and a half, right? So two hours is like, no, it was, it was taking some time for real. Um, so I ordered the octopus, the salad. I ended up ordering um, oysters and red snapper filet. The octopus was good. I will say it's the highlight of everything I had so far. It was the tiniest bit salty, but it was good. I ate it, you know, it was, it was all good. And it was like on a bed of like chickpeas, what are olives, onions, cabbage? It was good. You squeeze the lime on top. Mm, delish. Honestly, that was the best oyster I've ever had. If I'm keeping it like a hundred, it was crispy. I was like, did y'all like flash fry it or something? It had a nice little crunch on the outside, but it didn't give fried. But the texture, it was giving air fryer. That's what it was giving. I was just like, oh my god, delish. And then, y'all like my doors, child. The salad was okay. It was cute. I enjoyed it. I would definitely have it again. The dressing was, you know, it was cute. It was all right. Um, the oysters, they weren't the freshest, but it was okay. Once you put all the, the lemon, the um, cocktail sauce, all that stuff on it, the Tabasco, it's good. <laughs> um, the cocktail sauce was definitely on the sweeter ketchup-y side. So when you put the hot sauce and the lemon, it definitely helps to balance it out more. I was like, it definitely needed more horseradish in the mix, but anyways, and it didn't offer horseradish on the side. Not that I'm the biggest fan of it, anyways, but just if you care, I don't know. Um, it is a black owned business, so if you want to support that, that's always uh, a good thing. The drinks were, I'm not really a champagne girl, I'll drink it if it's there because I drink whatever, <laughs> honestly. But yeah, everything is top of champagne, so I wasn't in love with the drinks. I didn't even finish it and they were pricey. I paid about $40 for the two drinks, a little less than, but you know, when you can include tax and stuff, it pretty much comes out to $40. Um, and lastly, the red snapper filet was garbage, like basura, okay? The flavor of the fish itself, like the whole concept of the fish, the plating, I wasn't a fan of, but the reason why I really say it was basura is because the quality of the fish, it was not fresh at all. I was like, what in the Aldi is going on? What in the, it's been in the freezer for three months is going on. Like it was not giving fresh fish at all. Oh my God. I think that was the worst quality fish I've ever had. Like I was so like shocked. <laughs> like did y'all run out of fish and y'all found this one in the back of the freezer somewhere that's been there since y'all opened? Oh my, I was like, I don't know what in the Anacostia River or what in that lake where they be putting dead bodies in, in Atlanta. Y'all got this from? Stop, don't do it ever again. <laughs> Please, whoever sold y'all that fish, the vendor you got it from, do not purchase from them anymore. Um, but everything else was good though, so I was still giving them a pass and try other things. Girl, let me, I'm just sitting here chilling like, I'm not paying for every second I'm in here. Uh-huh, uh-uh. But I wanted to really quickly come here and give you guys my thoughts before I head out. Is somebody getting robbed? Because their alarm is going off and... What is this car doing? Um, But yeah, so all in all, I would give it a solid 6.5 maybe. Oh. Yeah, I'll give it a 6, 6.5. I would go back. The appetizers were good. I did enjoy it. Why 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 did I get behind somebody when I can just go somewhere else? One thing about me, I'm gonna do something I don't understand. Like for no reason. I tried about to charge me up the wazoo. I've been sitting here for so long. Ugh. I'm gonna pay me for three hours. Go sit here kicking with y'all. It's your fault. Damn. I could have probably like barely made it through. Y'all want this ticket or no? Oh, a gate open drop. 
I'm so slow. <laughs> the gate was open the whole time. I guess it's free, gratista. Oh my gusta. Girl, trying to force a ticket in. They don't, we love free parking. Anyway, shout out. Yeah, I'll give it a six, 6.5. I would still recommend. It was cutesy, it was vibey. The seating was very tight. Like y'all were forcing all the tables and chairs in there didn't need all that we saw it on the outside which you know it's its own vibe but all the cuteness was inside for sure um but it was a little warm so when they said do you mind sitting outside i was like mm, i don't mind at all honey because it's, it's a little toasty y'all it is 65 degrees outside right now um and they had like the little heater things outside too so <sighs> one of the servers he was a little sassy <laughs> Um, one of the groups that came in after us, they came in really late, like for really late, honestly. And um <laughs> he, he came out, he was like, So the food's about to come out. Do y'all do y'all want me to bring to go plates as well? They're like, To go plates, like for what? He's like, We close at eleven. By this time it was like eleven forty five ish. And when he left, they're like, Oh my god, he tripping, he this, he that. I'm like, yo, two of the people from that party, I'm assuming they arrived on time. They were sitting there for at least 40 minutes before the group came. Like, cause I, I remember one of the girls saying that she had ordered her food since 10, before 10 o'clock and 10.45, they still didn't get it yet. Or something was going on like that. So I was like, they were seated, kicking with each other and ordered before the rest of the group came. And y'all mad that he said y'all need to go plates cause they don't know how long they gonna let y'all stay after 11. Y'all were late as hell. Like y'all be wildin'. And honestly, a lot of my friends are like that are never on time the only friend that's on time for outings is chelsea like everybody else be pissing me off like y'all be big allergic to time and y'all y'all because y'all know y'all watching big allergic to time never on time for nothing late to everything and it's just like please like what you you know you take three hours to do the hair the outfit the makeup all of that so why why are you not allotting yourself three hours to do that? Please. Anyway, child. Yeah, so it was like, oh, he was tripping. I was like, uh, <laughs> I'm on my, my business. But the way I want to turn around and be like, no, y'all tripping. Y'all had those two girls who don't even know each other sitting down, waiting for y'all for however long. <laughs> and I was like, one thing about us, <laughs> we gonna be the wrong, we still gonna blame somebody else. Cause why are you tripping for real <laughs> to go let us stay anyways like what's the wrong i was crying when she said that anyway child when i go home i'm about to pass out so it was a good night i'm gonna see y'all when i mother freaking see y'all peace good morning gems i am currently getting ready to um do i want to wear this i really don't i'm like struggling with this necklace it's not even what i want to wear I'm getting ready to take a picture um, for Forever 21 in this cute two-piece outfit. Like, it's actually, like, super cute. Oh, they've been not really cute pieces lately. Well, then I say lately because it's been a while since I've, you know, really taken time to delve onto their website. But, um, do I want to do this? Um... Y'all know, I, I feel like accessories are what really makes an outfit. And so while it's super cute on its own, I do want it to pop a little bit more with just like little details that I can add. I don't really want a choker vibe, but when you have a big neck, <laughs> if you can't find a, a necklace that fits, baby, it's going to get choker, okay? <sighs> it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I want this picture to pop. And I'm not exactly sure which direction I want to go in. If I want to do like, um, like streetwear, like sneakers, grungy situation, or maybe like boots and heels. I'm not feeling heels with this unless it's like a comfier situation. This is throwing me off. Okay, we're just going to say no to the necklace for now. It's just, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pause on this right now. 
Anywho, um, yeah, I'm gonna take a picture and then while I'm out, I would like to go to Trader Joe's to pick up some groceries for the week. My factor box is coming this week, so I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, but I also wanna pick up some groceries and I just, I don't know. I feel like it's been a while since I went to Trader Joe's, so I kinda wanna do that. Um, but we'll see how much time I have left after this picture. This was supposed to be a whole photo shoot, by the way. Um, but things just have, my morning has been catastrophic. Like, literally, I had to redo, I didn't redo my makeup, I had to like touch it up like 13 times. <laughs> and the amount of touches I did, I basically redid it. Like, it's been a very emotional morning. <laughs> like, I've had every technical difficulty this lens while i love this lens for this camera it just be acting up just for fun i feel like i was just like oh what can we do today to give the day some spice oh let's mess with jamima let's just not be clear you know <laughs> and it's not like i hit it or anything like it, it was just sitting on the desk since yesterday so why acting up now and then you guys know i haven't filmed a haul in a while so my um camera wasn't connecting to my laptop and it was just it's just been a whole lot a whole lot of like so I'm just I'm trying to okay and one thing that makes me feel good is looking good and baby this set <laughs> I look good I'm not gonna hold you um yeah so I'm trying to figure out how I want to spruce up this look Mm, yeah i'm gonna figure out the vibes get ready to shoot and then head out so i will see y'all probably when i'm out four to six days later good morning gems um i have a crap load of errands to run um <laughs> and i don't want to do it but this is adulting, you know, doing things that you don't want to do. Am I focused? <laughs> um, I can't find my glasses, so I'm wearing my contacts. <sighs> maybe they're under my bed. Like, maybe they fell off my bed. I don't know, but I feel like that's why I'm, like, leading myself. Like, something looks funny. It's because I'm not wearing my glasses. I mean, I, I usually wear my contacts and stuff when I'm wearing makeup or I'm being cute, but like bare face. Where are my glasses at? <laughs> anyway, shout out. Quick OOTD, Forever 21 shirts. These sweats are from, I want to say that they might be from 1130. Is it 1130? I'm not sure. And then this puffer vest is from Walmart pretty long i think it's reversible is this reversible or am i tripping i might be tripping a little bit and my fragrance of the day is um anishio something aphrodisiac with killian good girl gone bad so like sweet but like you know <laughs> And I'm wearing my A6 sneakers, which y'all can't see, but they're fairly new. My first time wearing them out. And they're cute. I should probably show you, but. <laughs> Ciao. Oh, that's too much for me. Anyways, yeah, so. I need to make a run to the thrift store. I might have to make two trips. It's not even that I have a lot of errands to do. I just have a lot to do to get those errands done. And that's what it is. Um... So I might have to do two trips at thrift store. I don't want to. I want to pile my car as much as possible. Um, and then I need to pack and prep these returns um, so I can get those out either today or tomorrow. But like for sure, I need to get them out by tomorrow. Like I want my living room back because right now it's giving very much storage. It's giving Amazon warehouse. It's giving Costco. <laughs> and that's not the vibes. Speaking of which, guess who created a Costco membership? I'm officially an adult and I give my cousin her card back. <laughs> Sorry, Shirley. Um, I'll probably mail her card back, but I made my own membership like a real adult. 
okay um because there are some things that i wanted to buy that they didn't have at like target and walmart um including the karma probiotic waters um i don't know if you guys watch mckenna or not for real, for real i know you some of y'all love my um my shower routines i was 1000 percent inspired by mckenna and if you think mine are cute <laughs> they not touch mckenna mckenna is on a whole different level okay i feel like mine is more of a key we just be kicking together you know and do the little scrub mckenna is gonna get you right okay and she's been raving about these karma probiotic drinks it's apparently they gave you that splish splash um i personally i haven't really experienced the splish splash per se um with that beverage but i do take probiotics on a regular basis so maybe that's why um but i do like it as like a drink um it's not like drinking a soda it's not like drinking straight juice but for what it is it's good and i'm trying to be more conscious of the things i put in my body um like i'm never gonna be 100 that healthy girl because my lifestyle comes first <laughs> like i'm not putting a hookah down anytime soon i i know i know it's just certain things like i know it's i'm not going to do anything i'm not it's not happening it's not happening right now right now maybe tomorrow maybe next week maybe next month i don't know but right now today no but i feel like i could do other things you know to kind of get myself ready for when i do decide to make healthier decisions for my life <laughs> so as much as i enjoy a nice diet beverage i'm trying to chill you know oh dang them chemicals be good bruh so um yeah so i want to get those just to drink whenever i just don't want plain water um because i'd be tired of water y'all i'd be like where the juice at where the soda at soda is so freaking good bruh like So anyways, that's why I decided to go out and get some of those because I figured, you know, between those, like the poppies and the olipops, that's what's been holding me down. Um, I need to look to see if how bad ices are for you because those are good too, the ice beverages. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish my stash of Diet Coke and stuff that I have here, but I'm not planning on repurchasing. That being said, if I'm really craving it in the future, I will get it. Like, and that's why I'm really like saying things on camera because it's never gonna be all or nothing. Like for me, like it's never gonna be 100%. And people just be ready to be like, oh, didn't you say it? It is never gonna be to that point of extreme with me. Like if I'm really craving it that bad, I'm gonna have it, you know? But there's some things I was like, Jimmy, you say you gonna slow down on this and you don't. <laughs> you be saying you gonna stop doing this. And he'd be forgetting what you said. And so for me, I was like, I need to just cut stuff just completely. Just cut it. <sighs> Child, this adulting is too much. Like, I gotta do this to make it to 60? Because right now, 60 is looking very much overrated. Like, I'm good with 40, 45, 50, baby. 60 is given very much. Do I even need it that bad? <laughs> is it worth it? <laughs> like, mm. anyways, child, let me go. Because I've been um all the guy getting long enough i need to fill my water bottle and take that with me um i also need to take some ibuprofen and also that's an exception whenever i need to take meds or pills or anything i'm drinking juice straight juice 100 percent 52 grams of sugar juice okay because ain't no way about it ain't no way about it it's the only way i could even somewhat maybe swallow a pill and yeah, so the cramps are coming. So let me go take the microphones. I'll be back. So I'm at the thrift store now. Um, I don't know if somebody's coming out or after doing everything inside. I'm not exactly sure how this location works. I'm kind of planning on spreading things around to different stores. So it's a bit of a, um, a bit of a field trip today. But we'll see what comes. Some guy was right there, saw me, went inside, and never came back out. Nobody's here, can't open a door. I'm very confused. It's giving go somewhere else. Divided what? 
my regular would never. So I just dropped off the last round of goodies for today. Uh, I'm gonna go out and grab a quick salad and get some Starbies because I earned it. I want my shaken espresso, okay? <laughs> I haven't had that in like, I feel like weeks. Oh my God. Mm. So I'm gonna have that, have my salad, go home and do some more adulting. Don't we love that for us? I feel like I want to get into something tonight, but I don't know what. Wait, what is it to do? I might go to my brother's house, actually. I haven't hung out at his house in like two weeks. So, yeah, I might go key with the bro, actually. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the vibes are. But I just want to do something. Like, oh my god. Ugh, I've been in the house, in the bed. Como toast. Like, I mean, my bed feels amazing. Shout out to Brooke Lennon. I've been enjoying the heck out of those shoots, but I, it's time for me to, like, for real get out. Even today, like, it feels so good just to get out and get some air, bro. I will just for just one second. Okay. Sorry about you. What can we get for you? Uh, no worries. I have a question. Um, for the venti toasted shaken, um, toasted vanilla shaken espresso, how many pumps of toasted vanilla is in that? You said the venti one, right? Yeah. It will be six. Um, can I have two pumps of the toasted vanilla and four pumps of sugar-free vanilla? All right, what else? Okay, perfect. That's it. All right, we'll see you up in the window. Thank you. Doing today. Good. You need a straw? Yes, please. Alright. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Okay, you might be right. <laughs> it's not as good as a regular, but sugar free, it's just, it doesn't give toasted vanilla, you know? That toasted vanilla just hits different. Like, I don't know what the hell y'all toasted. But yeah, it's tasty. Tasty toasted. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, so I've been home for a while doing some cleanup and trying to figure out how I want to arrange my rooms. And... I'm at a place right now where my filming room cannot just be my filming room anymore. It has to be like a true extension of my closet and not just by one rack. I mean, baby, <laughs> I need I need the room. So <laughs> I don't know what that is going to mean for my content, but this is how it looks now. Um, I added these two racks here and um, I also took some of this content storage unit situation and use it to house shoes boots clothes all that stuff Ugh. this room is chaotic <laughs> and this is my electronics slash coats and winter garment closet um but i have just decided now that i'm going to switch closets with my glam room and bring those pieces in here and move those to like the makeup room so I've been going back and forth because my biggest issue was that I was having to go into both rooms to figure out like my outfits like I put a shirt on and I'd be like okay what skirt you have to come in here to try and figure out what I'm gonna pair it with and that's like 
it's not it's not making sense okay um so i was like okay what if i put dressy clothes in one room and casual but i've been mixing stuff and so now i'm just like all right i need to figure out how to have all of my clothes in one room and i use the other room for accessories bags shoes blah 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 so that's why i decided to put my closet clothes in here now my this was originally supposed to be the closet room but it's like dark in here and just not the vibes um but now i have to make it the vibes because this is just where we're at right now um the only thing is <sighs> so i have an ottoman here that i use to store like my bathing suit stuff and also it's really great seating and also great to pay for storage and holding things so i was apprehensive about getting rid of that but i think because i was gonna move my dresses in here i have a rack in my glam room with my dresses but i think i'm gonna leave my dresses in that room and just switch closets i feel like dresses are pretty simple just throw them on and add accessories so i can pretty much do the most of that over there um if i need a cardigan or whatever i don't mind coming in here to kind of finish that up but like separate pieces, tops and balls and stuff, like no, no, that's ridiculous. So I'm gonna switch closets, but I'm gonna leave the dresses there that way. This can stay here. I could still film in this corner. It's not aesthetic -y anymore. <laughs> Right now, functionality wins over aesthetics. So I'm just gonna have to figure out the halls after. Cause I, the consistent chaos is driving me insane. And um, I'm, I'm the drama, it's me. I'm the problem, I'm the drama. Because this apartment is huge. Like there's no reason why two weeks after I moved in, I already outgrew it. Like I. And as many things as I get rid of, it's like, I don't understand what I have left and how I still have nothing to wear ever. So for now, this is the clothes room. And then I'm gonna have the glam room slash accessories room cause it's just not working out. And I have to make this vibes. Like I just, I'm gonna get some new lights, maybe get some, Things to spruce it up. I hang up my vision boards I created a couple years ago, several years ago. Um, I didn't make one this year. I... And they're so cute. I feel like the goals are consistent. They're just on a bigger scale. But like, I really took my time to make these, y'all. Like, the badass Mr. Mima. Like, come on. Classic vision board. This is my first ever vision board. Love this. Like, I feel like I can hang these up, like, over the clothes racks on the wall maybe i don't know but i have to figure out how to make this place vibey so that i want to come in here because i never want to come in here i really don't and i hate having my equipment just in the way because it makes me never want to go into this closet it's always in the way and it's going to be the first time in a long time where i don't have a standstill setup for my videos um which is what allows me to pop out content like like I need to because once you have your setup ready to go, I have to just press start. It makes life so much easier. So the fact that I have to readjust every single time I want to film, I literally don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it because why? Oh, my contact. Oh, wait a minute. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, first world problems. I'll figure it out. It is what it is. We move. Um. Yeah, I just have to figure it out. But anyways, this is what it looks like now. We'll see what it looks like when I'm dead. <laughs> Lord. Let the record show that I went from cleaning up to making every single room in this house worse. Yeah, I. this room was clean before. I, what have I done? What, what have I done? yikes um i'm supposed to be going out tonight <laughs> and it's 9 35 i'm supposed to be there at 10. i didn't even realize how much time had passed <sighs> the question is am i going or not 
The rooms are nowhere near done. I was supposed to be done with this tonight. I was supposed to be able to just hop straight into work tomorrow. <laughs> the ghetto. Ra -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? This room is not the vibes, bro. Oh. It was crazy because when I was switching the closets, I was having a mom or deja vu like, girl, we already did the switcheroo before. We tried this before and it didn't work out. So like, <sighs> do not mind the junkiness. You guys know we're in the middle of a transition, but this is the outfit. These are one of the thickest leggings that I own and it's going to be a low 26 today. Okay. <sighs> be a fence. Um, mock neck, crop turtleneck, boots. I'm going to throw on some kind of crop jacket or leather jacket. And now we're doing accessories. Shoot, and I just started cramping, so I'm going to have to pop some ibuprofen. I'm not going to make it. I'm time to get in free. I'm not. If I'm not going to make it time to get it free, then why am I rushing? Like, what is actually the point? Because I don't have cash, and that's the main reason, because I don't have to stop me. This is too much for me. Ooh. Oh, no. Like, all day, I was chilling. You wait till right, I'm and you want to wait until right when I'm about to go out to, like, start cramping, bro? It's like, you know, she's trying to have a little fun. Oh, no, let's ruin that. Like, come on. <laughs> I don't want to do like a ready lip. I want to do like a pinky lip. I've been very much on pink lately. And that's the vibe that I want to go for. So now that I have the time, let's redo the lip. <laughs> so all of my pinky lip glosses are all in the purse somewhere. I don't even know which one. Um... So, <laughs> I mean, I can all touch up later. Let me do something that's pink-ish now. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Let me reapply this liner. I've actually been really liking this liner for, um... I'm gonna put this gloss on and I'm gonna head out and call this over because this is actually a joke. Truly. But no, no, no. Yeah. I was serious about what I said though. Two balls might start hurling up in the angle like two. They started at 25. <laughs> Listen. 25, what the fuck happened? Listen, there's a reason why I'm in sneakers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My ankles can't anymore. <laughs> it ain't my ankle. It's my lower back. But that's how I done been like five o'clock. Uh-uh. Yeah, motherfuckers don't know. Don't tell me that. <laughs> really? I'm I do not you. want to know that my Uber driver has been in five accidents. But it's because they hit me. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Every accident I've been hit. Because they can't drive. Okay. Had a white girl T bone me, had a Mexican hit me with a truck. Damn. Had one day, it was the day after my birthday. Uh uh. A car hit, I was sitting where you were sitting. A car hit on that side, the car spent around, hit the wall, bounced off the wall, and another car hit the same spot. That's a no for me. That shit was crazy. <laughs> I forgot to close out the vlog yesterday, but thank y'all so much for watching. I had a key, and I will see y'all the next one. Toodles. <laughs>